Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are ready to head into a new mission. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're still rebuilding the, um, well, building the uh, the Mad Cat. Mm. Well, there's another scramble. Okay. 2.8 million. There's also a quite nice assassination. So let's do that. We'll load the Alpha Squad. Do I want to take something out so that we're not over over dropping? I think maybe I do. So if we take this out, and we take this out, that almost gets us there. I don't want to take anything else out. So this is what we're going with. All right. Two shields, one and a half skulls. Let's go. I'll see you guys when we raise drop. All right, guys, we are on station. Let's get down there and do this. Command interface initiated. Okay. So we have the Renegade up here. We have the Escort over here. Well, let's drop here. And take out the Renegade, then the Escort. Okay. Uh, all right. This seems doable. It's raining a bit. All right. Let's see what we see. I've Ultramark two with ballistic energy and missiles. We see a Cyclops with ballistic energy and missiles, and Orion with the same. And a Roughneck with the same, and a Turbo Hunchback. Okay. A few of these are a little bit scary. The Vulture Mark II and the Cyclops, I believe, are a little bit... Both on the heavy and scary side. I don't think there's any point in pinging, no. Alright. Uh, Batangus. Move on up. Oh, I forgot the... Uh, I think she has some... Guardian ECM there. Uh, let's move you in here. Embrace. Minuteman. Sprint up here. Guardian ECM to active. Can we see what they've got now? Yeah, the Cyclops, Gauss Rifle, Energy, Energy, EOPPC, Orion, AC-20, Midron. Two light PPCs. Two light AC-2s. Those two MRM-30s, though. Those are scary. We have a sheath beacon. Right, if you sprint up here, we can actually ping these guys. So yeah, there's a, f a few uh, scary enemies here. A few scary enemies here. Guardian ECM Interactive. Freebie. On it. 
Come over here. Done. Uh, Archer. And you have a Guardian ECM as well. All right. It's battle time. And they get to go first. In the Turbo Hunchy. Okay. That wasn't too, too bad. So we have turn 11, turn 18. The only thing we have going before that thing is Big Sly. So in that case, I think what we'll do is focus on this guy who we can get down before he gets a turn, I think. He's already unsteady. Those 60 MRMs, though, they scared the crap out of me. But... We shot down basically all of them. Well, 20 from 60 hit by MS only. But not many of them hit. All right, let's switch to precision ammo. Fire. Good damage. Nog. Excuse me, has a sudden sneeze come on. Fire. All right, well, he's exposed. Yes, Commander. X. Position confirmed. Uh, let's go standard. All right, that's him gone. Good. of it steam attack I think you come in here and start working on him yeah uh, let's switch to cluster fire good amount of damage on him Freebie. Oh, we can't get really, really good line of sight. But we do have line of sight. And this should be him unstable. Or unsteady. Yeah. Switch that Guardian ECM to active. That's actually a pretty good hit chance from right, right there. With everything. Alright. It's not the greatest hit chances. But it's not the worst either. And we tagged him. So that's good. He resisted the injury though. Which is a shame. Alright, Bengal. Uh, I kind of like you to sprint. Well, doesn't matter. Can't move any further or get any more evasion out of it. So let's go with you, you two, and that's fine. He's going down. 
All right, there he goes. And next round. Lovely. All right, big sly, let's make him unsteady, or kill him outright. Oh, no kill, but he is unsteady. So that means that Patengus can knock him down. Yep. Lovely. Freebie. Uh, let's just go for the head. See what we hit. Nog. We want to hit the turbo hunchy. It is an AC20 that it has. I think we do. Archer. Alright. Well, we'll fire at you. Alright, let's just go center torso. Bengal. That's decent hit chances. Head hit. He's unsteady. So that means that we can probably knock him down as well. Yeah. We can. All right. Very nice. Man, he is still not open. He is still not open. No, he shouldn't be able to hit anything. Well, neither of those two should. Nope. And they're both dying next round. I am fairly certain. Quite a bit. All right, it's fine. Axe. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, there he goes. Big sly. Um, I actually think I'll let Big Sly shoot at the roughneck. Uh, 
That wasn't a whole hell of a lot of hits or damage. I'm sure it will. All right, Dingle. Yeah, fire. All right, there he goes. He is very, very dead. Well, we're going to reserve until he does something in that rough neck, because we can't hit him anyway. Archer, he is like, yeah, he's kind of down in a behind here, so it's going to be a little while until we can hit him. Freebie. But at least our LRMs can potentially hit him. Maybe. Nog. You're just going to move. And brace. Minuteman. Steamer duck. Uh, Batangas. Okay. Let's reserve until he's done his thing. Maybe we can get a shot on him. Bengal, you certainly can. Yeah, go for it. Nice. Tangus can't see him. Uh, freebie. You no, know what? Why don't we try and sensor lock him? See if that works. Not really. No evasion. Lost. But he's hot and unsteady. Uh, Archer. Uh, Minuteman. Steamer Duck. Nog. Axe. And big slide. Well, we are seeing red numbers. But not enough. Fire. That should be a knockdown at least. Yep. Uh, steamer dock. No. X. Oh, you can actually get eyes on. And there is a hit chance. All right, engine destroyed. There we go. 
There we go. That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Two hundred and sixty seven thousand. Well, I actually thought they were heavier. The Cyclops is a ninety tonner, yeah. I thought the Vulture was heavier. It is a Omnimech. So it's cheap to rebuild. Ah, uh, 1 plus 15. We can't get it. Roughneck. Nah. Nah. Anything else here that can be disassembled? No. All right. Let's see. AC20 Midron is quite nice. It is actually quite nice. Uh, combat shotgun, light AC2, light PPC, LRM15, medium laser, MRM30. It's weird, the MRM30 thing never shows up. I feel like, I feel like there's a bug with the MRM30 uh, details card. <sighs> nah. Apollo MRM attachment. Add new firing modes. Enables the attached weapons fire in Apollo firing mode. Plus two evasion pips in order. Plus two accuracy pips. Accuracy with attached weapon. Why, minus one damage from missile. Okay. Mm. Clan armor. Armor cowl. Case two clan. C3 master. Endo steel clan. We already have five of those. FCS Advanced Tactics. We already have three of those. FCS Flak. Gunnery Support A. Yes, please. Ooh, a Rangefinder Plus Plus. That might well be something. Sensors Tracker. We already have one. Tactics Support. Thermal exchanger. They are quite nice. Turret mount. I might take that. I think we already have one, don't we? No. Okay. Well, that could be a nice thing. So would the MRM-30 and the AC-20 Midron. But I think I'll take that and the Rangefinder Plus Plus. But I think I'll take that turret mount. Confirm. What do we get? Cyclops part, four roughneck parts, uh, vulture part, combat shotgun. Yeah, we'll keep that. Clan armor. Mm. FCS standard, gunnery support, a prototype double heat sink. Uh, can never have too many of those. Rainfighter plus plus, so we got that. Thermal exchanger, turret mount, and some AC-20 ammo. And AC-20 incendiary and flak ammo. Okay, very nice. Actually, not a bad haul. Not a bad haul. I'll see you guys back on the Argo. Alright, guys, we're back on board. 
Castile took something from Clan Wolf. Doesn't affect us. So 31,000 and four days. It's basically only the Jägermeck that has taken damage. So if we can go out on a mission without the Jägermeck, that would actually be kind of nice. Assessment passed. All right. Very good. Okay. Okay, so we can upgrade the MRB now. That is lovely. Let's see how much it costs, though. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's do it. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. All right. So that is on its way. Excellent. Okay. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. All right, Pringle is out for one more day. Well, then we might as well get the Jägermeck back as well. There we go. I am going to cut this one a little short today. Uh, my wife is coming home tomorrow after being uh, gone for, uh, for a while, and I need to de do some tidying up before she comes home so she doesn't run screaming out the door again uh, the minute she walks in it so um so yeah uh, thank you so very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time